um, you know, I think many other women in the industry can confirm or maybe can't. I won't say it's this is the law of the experience, but it can be patriarchal at times where, you know, it's it's a man's world, quote unquote, um, and you have to navigate through that. Um, I, Diane Carroll, I was reading um, a book of hers recently and she was talking about, and it's, it's so sad that it's the same thing in some respects of having to watch your step of how you interact with men in the business. You can't, you, I find sometimes I found in the past where you can't speak your mind because then you're labeled a B um, and being aggressive when you're just really trying to lead. You're trying to take ownership of, you know, your show. You're trying to take ownership of your responsibilities and, and running your show. And when you try to do that in a proactive way and clear without trying to be kind and cute and you have to make it palatable for certain people because they feel challenged if you just speak to them in your normal, like I'm speaking to you as a person, not as a man. And we have to go through this song and dance of, you know, trying to get you to feel comfortable with me in this role of leadership. I, I just feel like we're people. Why can't I just ask you to do X, Y, and Z? Why do I have to dumb this down? Because essentially that sexism is in a sense, having to dumb it down like, right. I can't speak to you as a man in respect as a person, and we can have a real dialogue. I have to dumb this down for you so you don't feel threatened. Your masculinity doesn't feel challenged today. I respect your masculinity, and I respect me as a woman, so why can't we just have a one-on-one -on -one talk and, and collaborate as, you know, artists? I shouldn't have to dumb this down so you don't feel, <laughs> you know, like I'm a threat today, and I'm I'm when I'm just trying to do business and, and I'm trying to connect with you so we can do this, you know, do this show, you know, record whatever project. And it can be a challenge when you find yourself spending a certain percentage of your time having to make the experience palatable for a man. And it can be tough. I just remember just starting out a certain um, percentage of that going into talking to men or getting on stage or, you know, just the simple thing of getting your charts together and issuing them out and just, it's taxing. It makes you not want to, you know, I mean, at the time you're just starting out, so you'll just do anything. You don't care. I'll just get through it. After a while, it gets to be like, yo, you know, I have to put up with this. You know, why can't we just speak to each other with respect. If you see like I have a chord progression that's not working, just tell me the progression is not working. You don't have to make fun of me or make me feel like less of a human being for it. I think there's a lot of stereotypes that's at play for women and particularly as vocalists. People already have certain prejudices of what you can do, what your capabilities are they already assume or they have assumptions that you don't really have any type of music theory understanding or any type of level of